I remember like telling myself that in the beginning, like if shit ever popped off and like I did something happen, like I'm going to stay humble. I'm going to stay cool. I'm not going to let this like destroy my personality because I am bubbly and I'm fun and I like to laugh and joke and be myself. And so I'm like, I'm not going to let this destroy me. And so that was, it was a conscious effort. It did get to my head a couple of times. I'm not going to lie. There were some times where I'm like, I'm fucking amazing. <laughs> fuck all you, fuck all you bitches. Like, you know, but like I, 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 I was always humbled by, you know, something. There was always something that like reminded me, okay, you're still human. We're all human. Chill the fuck out. You're, you're just, it's just relax, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that staying in my element too, staying home and living in San Diego with my family, staying around my friends and like only going to work and back really helped because it kept me grounded and it kept me in a place of familiarity like that reminds me of who I used to be before this, mm -hmm. being around all my friends that I grew up with and being around my family who raised me and like whatever else that's what kept me grounded mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot of people in this industry that lose sight of that